Hi, fishy folks. Michael from Michael's Fish Room here. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com where there are new lower prices. Check it out, michaelsfishroom.com. Today, we're gonna do a fish room tour. Why you ask? Because a couple of people have asked for it, which if you ask for it, I'll probably, probably do it. So shall we go on a tour? I think we shall. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, in this dirty ass tank, we have the hyphen platies, hyphen sunset platies. I have paid zero attention to this tank and uh, I considered selling all of them at the auction, but I decided to keep them. I mean, if you're interested, send me an email. I'll give you a great deal on the whole colony. I don't know, there's probably 10 or 12 adults plus juveniles. There might even be fry, I don't even know. Um, yeah, really not doing it for me, so. All right, let's go to the Lemon Cobra Guppies. Um, there's a couple different, I don't wanna say strains. I've gotten Lemon Cobra Guppies from a couple different places to try to solidify all the genes and stuff and they are breeding quite nice. Unfortunately, some of the females are the, uh, instead of the golden color or the lemon color, they are the dark color. So I probably need to go in there and pull those out, put those in the mutt guppy tank. Any calls, give to Han and Leia and uh, go from there. I've been trying to do that more frequently down here in the fish room to make a better quality fish. Um, it is a lot of work and it is a lot of time, which when I designed the fish room wasn't in the plans, but I think that's actually gonna be better for everyone. Really, you guys. Uh, why do I have this here? It's blocking all the light. Stand by. We got this lid. I think this is off a of 30. It's just half a lid. We're gonna put it down here for now so I can hit my shin on it. All right, that's better. A little more light. You can see the colony. You can see one of the great body females. I mean, the males look great. Nice delta tail, good patterning. All right, moving on. These are the American guppies, the red, white, and blue American guppies. Um, I have a shipment of Java moss coming in uh, from Mike in Arizona. And uh, when I get it, I'll talk more about the company and, and Mike. You've heard me talk about Mike. Um, he's a great guy, runs a great company out there. And uh, like I said, I'm going to do a video on it as soon as I get the Java moss. I like to promote friends and good people in the hobby and he's both, so. Um, so I see one male. Oh, there's a couple of females in the back. So in the fish room, what I've been doing with new guppy strains is uh, if the females are pre-hit, I take all the males out and I put them in a male only guppy tank. And if the females aren't pre-hit, I leave a male in there uh, for a couple days, then I pull all the males out, like I said, uh, put them in an all-male tank. This way the females can do their thing without being harassed. They'll drop two or three batches without needing another male. They can drop more, but it typically slows down. At least that's what I find. Uh, so there's a little guppy tip for you if you're breeding guppies. Leave the females pre-hit, pull the male. I gotta pull the male out of this one because um, he's been in here for about a week, so I'm sure he's done his business. Look like he's getting a little frisky right now. All right, uh, really no updates to this area. When I was off on vacation, I was supposed to uh, drill three more tanks, although I have a 10 that's already drilled. So drill two more 20s, plumb them, air them, you know, do all that stuff. I didn't, I didn't have time. Also, you can see while I was on vacation, I was plumbing. I dropped a whole can of PVC glue, uh, sorry, PVC primer, it stinks. Moving on. These are the magenta mosaics, the red magenta mosaics, um, and a couple different mutts in there. They just look fantastic and they're huge. If you're interested, let me know. They're not on the website as of yet, but they will be soon. All right, I gotta move this bucket so I don't. Uh, red cobra females. There have been a couple fry drops in here really isn't designed for that. There is some cover with the floating sag, so I don't know how many fry are surviving, but uh, just grow outs for now. This, I thought was gonna be a male tank uh, when they were shipped to me. These are the ones that Barbara shipped to me. And, um, but 
I sold a lot of males out of here. So, and actually, there's no males in here now that I know of. There might be one. Actually, now that I think about it, I might have left the one in there. Um, but yeah, just growing these out. Um, I do have another tank right here that has a really nice male and a couple really nice females, maybe four females. So one to four ratio. And that's going to be my new breeding tank. These are just going to be either feeders or, you know, if, if somebody wants a bunch of females, I might run a special on the website or something, you know, three pre-hit females for 15 bucks or something. So if you're interested, shoot me an email, let me know. Uh, moving along, fish room tour extravaganza. My betta setup for all you better people that might be saying, oh my God, the such horrible conditions. No, it's not. This is luxury compared to how they're raised. I've spoken to many a better breeder. So there you go. If you want hate, bring it because I'll send it back. I'm going to be doing uh, probably a video on these guys shortly when I can get them up on the website. Uh, so you can see what they look like. This is a double tail. And uh, you've seen this guy before, but I want to make him really look nice. All right, moving along. This is the 30 breeder that I've done nothing with since I pulled it down. In fact, it's just in the way. Uh, over here we have the black panda platies that are um, really growing nice. They're off back order on the website. I'll be shipping, uh, shipping actually a fry pack, which... I actually have to talk to that customer and see if he wants a juvenile pack instead. I do have fry, but these guys have really grown fast. I've been really feeding them. I have a nice heater in there. When you heat a guppy tank or the warmer a tank is, typically uh, the fish grow faster because their metabolism speeds up. So I don't have it too hot. It uh, looks like it's set at about 77. Um, so I'm guessing the water is probably about 75. You can see in a, a breeder female right there, and there's a f juvenile female that looks like she might be hit. There's a nice male. So, yep, black panda guppies are the most popular on my website. That's why they went on back order that one time. So, if you're interested, uh, place an order. In here, we have chocolate mollies, which I believe I only have two females left, which is why I haven't really talked about them. I'm trying to cure some more, and this will probably be a uh, uh, outdoor breeding project, but really nothing going on there all right moving along glass belly guppies these are the ones i got at the keystone clash uh which i'm looking forward to probably going again and you can see some long filled bristle nose uh babies over there hopefully i have a male and a female i'm not really sure until they grow up uh but these glass belly guppies oh there's a third one hopefully we have at least one male in there these glass belly guppies are pretty cool um you can kind of see inside the female. So I'm just waiting for a second drop. There was one when I first got them and only a few survived because uh, they were in a quarantine tank with no uh, cover. So they were a delicious treat. Moving along, the trio of purple mosaic Dumbo ear sulfur head guppies. You think I make up names. Um, no fry that I have seen, which is a little concerning considering those females are you know, the size of a Goodyear blimp, but uh, I mean, it's possible they've dropped fry and they've been eaten. I've been adding some more cover. Like I said, I'm waiting on some uh, Java Moss, a Java Moss shipment, which I'll be selling on the website as well. So also you can see the six albino quarries. Uh, not a big fan of the albinos. I bought them to sell at the auction and um, there was like a hundred different lots of albino quarry cats and uh, mine were the smallest so and they were like towards the end they still hadn't been auctioned off so i figured i'd keep them maybe i'll put them upstairs with the angels maybe i'll just leave them here and sell them um i saw a guppy picking on that that right there that is a new cobalt pellet it's a cobalt ultra pellet shrimp and veggie and i got it from super cichlids of course lisa just hooked me up because she's fantastic Moving along to this tank, these are the uh, dragon guppies, the red dragon guppies. And uh, there's that one platy which I still can't catch. Can't or haven't tried are really two different things. Uh, these guppies, they don't have dumbo ears, but they have black dorsals, so they look more pronounced. There's the female. 
And I think I did this last time. I couldn't find the mail. And then, of course, as soon as I shut the camera off, he was like, hey, here I am. I see a problem. Do you see a problem? There's no air coming from the filter. Okay. Well, that's a problem. So we got to fix that. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. Thanks for standing by. It's fixed. Basically, the valve was off. I was doing some uh, adjusting of the L144 blue-eyed lemon pleco tank. The filter's in there yesterday and I must have uh, turned the air off to this tank. Now you may be saying to yourself, that's a 20 gallon tank with probably 40 little guppies in it that you know I overfeed. And all you have is that little tiny corner sponge filter? Yes, that's all I have, a couple reasons. I didn't remember that it was just a little tiny filter in there, but the fact is, all these plants, plus my water changes, probably keeps the water pretty pretty hardy. In addition, I find if you don't keep your fish in pristine conditions, they are much hardier. So when you get them, they're strong. Now, this is just a theory of mine. I have no scientific proof. I've just done a little brain thinking, and that's what I've come up with. So there we go. Moving along, Mr. Bruce. Bruce. Bruce is just chilling, loving, loving his palace. Yep. I do kind of got to vacuum that out a bit. It looks like there's some food in there that he hasn't eaten. So that we'll put that on a list of things to do. My second tank of black panda guppies. Oh, look, there's a fry eating a... Um, San Francisco Bay brand brine shrimp, frozen brine shrimp from this morning. That's pretty cool. Uh, also in here are some calico plecos. I think there's two or three in here and about a gajillion snails. Um, I don't have a problem with snails. I happen to be growing a lot because I'm overfeeding my plecos um, and they're everywhere. So uh, I do have to make sure I don't, when I get my shipment of java moss, I don't cross contaminate and add snails to them. I'm gonna really try not to do that so I can sell it snail free. So there's a female, she dropped about 40 fry in here, and I think she had a second drop um, recently. These guys I'm overfeeding as well. There's no heater in here, um, but it's higher up, so it should be a little bit warmer. And uh, I do overfeed them, so they grow fast. All right, L144 colony. I think there's seven in here, maybe six or seven. And I have three um, box filters, or uh, yeah, box filters, we'll call them. Um, and the reason I have three is because I really overfeed these guys and they're messy. You can see all the debris and mom on the bottom. And I just cleaned this yesterday. So I dropped a handful of uh, green beans in there and they're all gone. And that's what's left of them. So lots of hiding places, lots of little caves. Hopefully we'll get some uh, spawning action in here. And uh, yeah, there's one eating some wood. Looks like it could possibly be a male. And there's a big snail in the corner. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Yep. Um, another reason I have three filters is when I pull one out to clean it, I definitely know that I can maintain a healthy beneficial bacteria colony in the tank. Uh, like that little one is the oldest one and that one needs to be cleaned. So we're gonna be doing that hopefully today. All right, Chunky Gold Medina and all his friends just chilling. This tank is a little cloudy. I might be doing a large water change on it today. Um, I had the same issue with that Pleco tank. It got really cloudy and milky. And I did about a 90% water change two or three days ago, as I said, when I was uh, messing with the airlines. And uh, that seemed to fix it. Also, coincidentally, two platies in this tank. And you must be saying to yourself, what, you keep platies and goldfish together? I do. Why? Why not? You tell me why it can't be done and I'll just point here and go, ha ha, yes it can. Uh, the tank's not heated and the platies are doing fine. The tank's room temperature, so it's probably about 72 in there. Platies are doing fine. Goldfish are doing fine. There's also a king tiger pleco, which I'm going to guess is under this wood. He's very elusive and likes to hide. Oh, hey, goldfish folks, I got a question. I found two goldfish in the uh, hut this morning. Um, Chunky gold medina and I think one of the calicos. Does that mean they were getting busy? Is that why the water is cloudy? Help me out. I don't, I don't know anything about goldfish and how they breed. So there we go. All right, Han and Leia. Oh, let's check out my new food storage system. It's basically just uh, vinyl 
gutter that I screwed to the wood that was there. And it's pretty good, except I did drop some food. So you can see I have a variety of foods, North Fin, Ocean Nutrition. This stuff is fantastic. Um, some Japanese kili food, which I really like. The fish really like, and it colors them up nice. When I go to Japan, I'll be getting some more food. Just checking stuff out, seeing what's there. Um, what else we have here? We have some new cobalt. And we have, of course, the catfish chips. Wardley shrimp pellets. Um, I know, Wardley, but everybody loves them. Ocean Nutritious Discus Flakes. These things are fantastic. If you need a high-protein food, check this stuff out. It's it's great. Uh, it says 51.8% protein. And uh, hold on. Stand by. Let me see if I can't get this to focus some more. There we go. Dried fish protein dried died. Wow. Dried fish protein digest. And you may be saying to yourself, what in the heck is that? Well, that's the same protein they use in uh, protein shakes for bodybuilders, which I really know nothing about. So, uh, but that's what I was told. And you can see there's an ant. That's good eating too. Um, so when I asked Ocean Nutrition after they sent me a bunch of samples, I thought it was all crap. And then I asked, you know, what is that? What are those ingredients? And it was explained to me. And I have some documentation from them as well, telling me exactly what it is. And kind of makes sense it's human grade protein that they use in you know protein shakes for bodybuilders and stuff so it's good stuff folks check it out if you haven't already you know I'm the honest youtuber if I don't like something I tell you about it if I like something I tell you about it I like this I like this this is some uh, breeding line of food that they're having me sample um, it's good stuff I can't really I don't really know a whole lot about it I just know it's good stuff and it comes in different sizes, which is interesting. All right, moving along. There's my ginormous pleco, which looks fantastic. And uh, lots of poop, lots of healthy poop. And there's some cholo wood in there for chill, for him to chew on. And of course, some sponge, a sponge filter that's not hooked up and two box filters. The reason that sponge filter isn't hooked up is I, uh, I hooked up that big uh, box filter which is really a cylinder and I'm letting that uh, get seasoned then I'll pull out that that um, sponge filter and put it in a tank with fry Han and Leia are growing quite nice if you guys are cyclic guys and can tell me if you can tell if these are boys or girls without me turning them upside down and looking underneath their dress that would be great I'm assuming that's a male because he's bigger and I'm assuming the uh, Albino female is a female, and that's why I call her Leia. I call him Hannah Leia because I'm a Star Wars geek, but whatever. Uh, then, of course, we have our two plush plecos. We've talked about those before. You can buy them at supercichlids.com. All right, second row. I think I'm going to go up and down at the same time, folks. We have red wag swords and blood red swords. Uh, this is probably going to be a breeding project outside. I'm going to take a couple of uh, really nice females, all red females, put them outside in a little pond and see what happens. Uh, here we have the high fin red tuxedo sword tails. Uh, I only have one male and there is some fry in there. So we let those guys grow out and hopefully we'll have another male. Uh, I asked my local fish store to uh, get some more males. Um, and they were really small and looked kind of eh, so I didn't I didn't get them. I didn't I didn't pick them up Over here. We have the uh, Jade head red tux Guppies you can see there's no male because I pulled all the males out and there's just females and fry lots of hiding spots also is latan the um, Blue Diamond no blue phantom pleco is in here. I hardly ever see him so uh, Hopefully he's still alive, but whatever. I haven't seen a carcass, so that's good. Up here, we just have some red wag platies. Also, just something that's taking up space in the fish room. I've lost 100% of the interest. You can have this whole colony really cheap. Make an offer. There's gotta be 20, 25, 30 fish in there. So make an offer, let me know. German black AOC guppies. Um, Little low on females. I was supposed to pick up some females from Super Breeder Steve, and he was a no-show to the auction. He had to work. 
and he forgot to let me know. So uh, I got some really nice, really nice males like that one with the big tail. That's supposed to go to California. Uh, as soon as he orders some more fish, I will send him that one as well. Over here, we have the red Russian lace guppies. Same old story here. It seems like uh, there's some fry and there's a, I know there's a male. I know there's a big female, but I never really see any big males, any other males. So got to think about what's going on there. All right. Um, ice flame guppies. Just a sort of a breeding project of mine by accident, but... You can, actually, you can't see the male because he uh, he's hiding. If you want to know what a really pregnant female looks like, she just went in the back. This one, too. You can see the gravid spot, if she turns around, is really red. That means they will be fried tomorrow. Um, of course, the male's hiding. There's one up there in the corner. Not the nicest one, but... All right. What do we have here? Oh, cobra guppies. Just a mix of cobra guppies. Uh, grow outs and breeding. Lots of different sizes in there. Jarawi lazuli guppies. These are my favorite guppies in the fish room right now. Um, nice neon blue, sort of a scissor tail look with its polka dot. They are fantastic. And I lowered the price on the fish room, on the fish room. I lowered the price on the website if you're interested, so. Here we have more cobra guppy grow outs. Nothing really spectacular here. The tank's kind of a mess. Two filters, gotta do some work. Yeah. Black layer tail mollies. Uh, lots of grow outs. And uh, I think I'm gonna also put these outside because I like layer tail mollies and uh, might do something with these special as well. Not really sure. They're also available on the website. Here we have a breeding project of red cobra guppies. Of course, they're all hiding. Let me get my poking stick, see if we can't. This is another tank, I'm cycling a new filter. There's the male, look at how spectacular he looks. If the females are hiding, they're probably, oh, there's a female. There's a small female. I did put two big ones and a small one in here. If they're hiding, they're probably getting ready to drop, so we're not gonna bother them. All right. Pink panda platies. I had a bunch of adults. I sold some. You can see some also some guppy fry, which we'll talk about in a second. And uh, these are what's left. These are the juveniles I'm trying to grow out. Uh, there's a heater in there to help them grow faster. Also, I put, as I said in a previous video, I put the uh, red, white, and blue American guppies in here just to, uh, in quarantine. And I had no other tank for them. And like the next day or two, I pulled out what I thought was all the fish. The next night I come down here and there's, you know, 30 fry. I'm like, what the? And then I found a female in here. So she was in here overnight, dropped fry. And uh, looks like most of them survived. These little guys must not be able to, they must be too slow or they're not good hunters yet, but you can see all the fry just chilling on the top. So this tank, it's quite a bit overfed and uh, it gets twice the water change that some other tanks get. There's also a, uh, a sailfin pleco in here somewhere probably hiding on the filter that's where he likes to chill and uh so there you go in here we have some albino bristle nose babies and we need to clean the bottom of the tank believe it or not that that uh green bean is only a day old so we got some some work to do in this tank i'm probably going to pull this tank down and and completely sanitize it and put them back um probably put them in a different tank actually so they have some algae and stuff to, to eat on so all right home stretch folks home stretch blue diamond guppies dirty tank don't want to hear it these guys are pretty nice a very inexpensive guppy if you're interested uh to get some blue color in your in your tank these are tanaka blue <coughs> excuse me lower sore tails also a great looking guppy half blacks Tanaka Maple Leafs. These are great also. I like the red. I like the scissor tailish tail. Uh, very prolific and hardy as well. Here we have uh, purple Moscows. Uh, you can see a lot of uh, juveniles and adult females. Uh, there is one adult male in there and I sold the other adult male recently. So hopefully some of those juveniles grow out and prove out to be males. 
Red Tux uh, guppies, just a ton growing and loving life. Over here we have um, Steel Nebula guppy grow outs. I had three females and uh, they're in here, no males, they were pre-hit. And so you can see there's the first drop. Um, nothing really special going on here. Here we have the America, the purple American Delta guppies, America purple Delta guppies I got from Daniel Anderson. That was one of the original females I got. He didn't know that she had a crooked back. I've just been, uh, just been holding on to her. Um, you can see that's what the males look like. There's a couple juveniles that are growing out. They are spectacular, nice deep purple color. Well, we're gonna save that, la that tank for last, the all male guppy tank, which is a pretty cool tank. Here we have the high fin lair tail sword tail tank, uh, orange and black. I've sold quite a bit of fish out of here. Right now we're kind of in grow out mode. You can see there's a male starting to show his tail. Um, yeah, that's what like a full grown male looks like right there. You see how long his gonopodium is. Some people say they can't breed like that, but ta-da. Um, this is a weird tank. This is the pink pastel steel nebula tank that I killed everything in by putting a 400 watt heater in here and not realizing that was gonna cook all of them. That was a nightmare. Um, but this is what's left and I'm growing them out and we'll see what happens. Mutt guppy tank, Michael's Mutts. Yep, just sold a bunch locally here. Uh, I think he ordered five, yeah, he, he wanted the, the five pack and I think he got eight. He specified he'd like Delta tails and anything that looks like an Endler or has Endler traits. So I gave him one of those, gave him some nice Delta tails. Really hardy, easy, simple. If you're not looking to breed or not looking to breed for profit, you just want color, order these guys off the website. It's a great deal. You won't be disappointed. All right, final tank. All male guppy tank. Look at how spectacular these colors are. Let's see what we can find. There's a uh, a black Moscow. I think I skipped that row. I did skip a whole row. Let's go back. Black Moscow guppy tank with uh, about a hundred fry in there. Lots of grow outs. You can see them all over. Over here we have the red magenta uh, tank. These were supposed to be American koi guppies and they just didn't breed true, but they all breed like that and they're pretty cool. So boom, there you go. Over here we have uh, grass guppies, blue and red grow outs. And oh, in here there's calico plecos and in here there's uh, albino bristle nose plecos. Uh, just growing out, hoping to get some babies. So these are the grass guppies I got from eBay. Pretty prolific, pretty hardy. I'll show you what the males look like in the old male tank in a minute. And finally over here, we have the lime green Cobra guppy tank. Pretty overcrowded, um, lots of fry, lots of big mamas in there. Also pretty prolific. What the heck is, oh, it's got something in his mouth. Okay, all right. Back to the all male guppy tank fishy folks. There's the all male guppy tank. You can see all the different male species I have. There's some uh, some cobra guppies. There's some grass guppy. There's a grass guppy right there. And there's an American koi male in here, right? No, there's a red grass guppy. That's a nebula guppy. Huh. Hard to see, hard to tell. Not a lot of light up in here. These are all males. Uh, I feed them just like the females, almost, not as much. Oh, there's the American Koi right there. See, it's kind of blah. All right, all male guppy tank, fish room tour extravaganza. Hope you guys liked it. Hope I didn't pan too fast. And uh, don't forget to check out the website. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day. Today, because I don't remember, good, I keep saying good morning, but there's a good chance you're not gonna see this in the morning, so I should probably stop saying that.
<laughs> what I've been doing recently when I get new guppy strains is I uh, I let the male do his thing to the females for a couple days. Then I pull all the males out and just put them in a male guppy tank, which I'll show you probably at the end of the video. Uh, so stay, stay, stand, stand, hoof.